have an incident response plan of all the policies today and all the proactive measures we're in talking about, that's really the most critical. Have your team assembled. If you haven't already, uh, you need to do that. And it's not just IT and legal. You have to think HR, communications, PR, uh, legal, risk. And again, it's not just internal, but it's also your external. Who are going to be your resources you're going to call when you do have an incident? The clock starts ticking as soon as, whether it's an employee or whoever, notifies you of the incident. Um, and as we'll talk about in a little bit, the statutes and states are continuing to shrink and reduce the time uh, deadline notification. Some of them are as short as five days from discovery of the incident. And so uh, you're going to be in violation of these statutes if you don't have the team in place and you haven't run through the plan with the team. When you're in the midst of a crisis, that's not the time to be negotiating these contracts, okay? We've, we, we deal typically in that mode with clients. They have not thought about the contracts ahead of time. You know, you've got to engage mail houses. You have to engage call centers. You've got everyone running around like chickens with their heads cut off if they haven't prepared. And now they're going to try to negotiate the fine points of contracts. It doesn't work very well. So you do want to be proactive and take the time to know who are the vendors you're going to employ and review their contracts and be on the same page with them. You know, and when we talk about preparation, I laugh because we go into many companies and if you ask them about policies and emergency preparedness, they can tell you what they'll do if their CEO gets kidnapped. And I ask, well, how many times has someone been kidnapped? Mm -hmm. uh, zero. <laughs> if you ask them, well, how do they respond to a data breach? They look at you like you have three heads and you say, well, how many data breach incidents have you had over the last couple of years? And they've, they've had several but they're still not on the same page. They still don't have a plan. And it is, I, we can't emphasize how important it is. And we're gonna talk about some of the statutory requirements and other things as to why you need to be planning ahead of time. You can call us and, and have a conversation without thinking that, okay, as soon as we identify that maybe we were a victim of something that we're gonna come rolling in with ray jackets and, and, um, and go to the media and, um, and you know, let the cat out of the bag, shall we say, and, and we're not going to do that. And it's to our advantage not to do that. It's to your advantage for that not to happen. But, uh, but bringing us in early, we can maybe set the stage for investigative efforts and also give you some insight of, of similar cases that we've seen that other companies are dealing with some of the same issues that you are.